Hey, this is Charlie Musselwhite, and I'm listening to Blue Stories on Radio Links. Oh boy. E, dragi ascultători, la microfonul emisiunii Poveștile Bluzului, același Marcian Petrescu, așa cum v-am obișnuit în fiecare uh, emisiune Poveștile Bluzului de vineri. De această dată am marele privilegiu să stau de vorbă și să intervievez pe unul dintre cei mai importanți muzicieni de blues care există în acest moment în, în lume. Uh, un om care pentru mine este una dintre sursele uh, inițiale de inspirație pentru momentul în care eu m-am apucat să cânt la uh, muzicuță. Uh, este o întâlnire, zic eu, extrem de fericită și este un privilegiu să-l am alături de mine pe uh, un om care a făcut istorie în uh, bluzul cântat la muzicuță. Este vorba de domnul Charlie Motherwhite. I made an introduction to our audience and I explained them that uh, our meeting is a very uh, uh, happy meeting because uh, uh, not every year we uh, uh, have a guest like uh, you here in Romania and especially a very important name in uh, blues harmonica, in the modern blues harmonica. It's happy for me too to come here and meet you all <laughs> and to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, Charlie, first of all, uh, tell me how uh, did you feel in Romania? It was okay, you're, you're staying here? Oh yeah, met a lot of really great people with some laughs and good food and uh, got to go around the town and see the sights and very interesting. And I look forward to coming back. I'm, I'm pretty sure after, the, after your show at Hasro Cafe, Uh, everybody will want you back. <laughs> I hope it happens. Yeah. Uh, event Plus, come on, Event Plus. <laughs> yeah, uh, Event Plus, compania care a făcut posibilă aducerea lui Charlie Mazelwhite în România și vreau să-i mulțumesc prietenului meu, Ioan Big, pentru faptul că mi-a încredințat misiunea de a de a fi gazdă lui, lui Charlie Mazelwhite. I explained them that uh, uh, Ioan Big, uh, the, yeah. the main uh, main producer of the of your concert, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, from Event Plus, uh, was so kind and uh, uh, gave me the opportunity to be a host for you as, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for the period you you were staying in Romania. Charlie, um, I have so many questions. To be honest, I, I don't know which one to 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 to, to ask you, but. Um, Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, about your uh, your new uh, new album. Um, there is a, it's a live album, live at the Triple Door, Rough Drive, Charlie Mas White Band, in a, a four it's a, a four piece uh, band. Uh, yourself on harmonica and vocals. You have Kid Anderson, a very very talented guitar player. Uh, Randy Bermudez uh, on bass guitar and June Kaur, the drummer uh, that came to, uh, with you uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, in Romania. Uh, <coughs> if it's uh, okay, tell me why you change uh, the uh, your your personnel so so uh, so often because you came in Romania with a different uh, bass player and a different guitar player. Uh, it's just the nature of the business. People come and go all the time. Uh, a guy might want to go out on his own, start his own band. Uh, uh, one guy <clears throat> had to fire him because he had a drinking problem. We're still friends, but you know, business is business. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, people sometimes get tired of going on the road and they want to stay home, so I got to get somebody that can travel. Sometimes somebody gets married, they, they don't want to travel anymore. All kind of reasons. Uh, uh Tell me, it, it's hard to be a, a traveling musician these days. Well, it's just uh, you know living out of a suitcase and you know driving hours and hours every day. Uh, I mean, sometimes we drive like six, seven, eight, nine hours in a day and still work that night. It's a uh, it's a hard life. Uh, yeah. Since uh, since uh, since the beginning of your career, you 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 have uh, this kind of uh, uh, traveling uh, traveling life. Yeah, uh, and you, then there's the wrecks. You, the last wreck I was in, I broke 12 ribs. Uh, that was a a real doozy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost didn't survive that one. I don't know if I have another wreck left in me, but uh, so there's 
that and you know never getting any home cooking you just have to eat in restaurants all the time mm. uh it's it's just not natural you know the natural way to be is to sleep in your own bed every night <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, as much as i remember uh, this uh, this live album uh came after um, uh with a band with a full band came after a long period of time the the last uh Uh, album with a full band was uh, that Dynatone, uh, Curtain Cock uh, Call Cocktail, something like this in the 80s. Yeah, Curtain Call it was called. Uh, curtain Call, okay. Why wait so long to, to put out a, a, a live well, album? When you record in a studio, it's a more controlled situation. Uh, a lot of times live recordings don't work out for all kind of reasons, technical reasons, and you can't fix it once it's, you know, in the studio, you, you can get it right you know when you're in front of an audience it just has to be right from the first time and often the the equipment they have to use to record with uh, uh in that's not in the studio is not as good okay. so uh consequently there's a lot of live recordings but they're not recorded well i understand and uh I saw here that uh, most of the songs are your songs, and uh, any any new tune you made especially for this uh, for this record. No, uh, the way that happened was we just we were playing there, and it turned out we discovered that they had a setup for recording. We hadn't really planned to record, and when we found out they had the setup, we said, "Well, turn it on. We'll just see what happens," yeah. and so. Uh, It wasn't like something we were planning to do. We just we took advantage of the situation, and when when we got the tapes and listened to them, we thought, "Well, these are pretty good. Let's put them out." Okay, but uh, I never saw this uh, this album uh, on the uh, let's say uh, uh, big market on uh, Amazon and uh, other uh, online stores or so, uh, yeah. such things like this. Uh, I understand that it's available only for the moment only on your website. Or you intend to change this situation to be more available because maybe, maybe someday. I mean, I sell them at gigs, mm. and then you can get it on at my website. But uh, it's, it's kind of an underground record. We, it's not really officially released, yeah, yeah, yeah. which kind of adds to the mystique of it. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, because many people uh, uh, before uh, your show at Hard Rock Cafe asked me. Uh, Charlie will will get some 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 of his album to sell it, uh, and I told them. Uh, to be honest, I don't know because uh, you you uh, uh, came to Romania with a plane and uh, any anything that is extra baggage it costs you yeah. money and it might be a problem. But um, uh, it's good that I know that you have this album because I spread the word around. And, Thank uh, you. And maybe maybe we can arrange uh, with somebody here in Romania to uh, to bring this album for uh, for uh, to, to be sell here. Maybe who knows? Uh, 